Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolid Iron Shield. And today, we'll do a real quick guide on the stable master for your personal house or kinship house. Um, we're going to open it. I'll show you real quick where you get it here on the Lotra store. So you can get it on the Lotra store. You can earn your Lotra points, obviously, online. I mean, add with deeds and stuff as you play. But you go down to your Lotra store button right down here, right? If you are on, little side note, if you're on the Steam client, guys, it'll bring it up. And it'll close your game. It'll bring it up on a page online. If you're in the Lotro client itself, not through Steam, just download it from Lotro.com. This little window will pop up in the game. That's kind of why I like to use the client from Lotro uh, directly. But it's nice it's on Steam as well. Anyway, now if you go over here, just type in stable. And you find these right here. There's just basically they're all stable masters. Um, they're all for your house or kinship house for your group. We're doing this for our group here on our Voice of the Rings kinship, which you're welcome to join if you're a subscriber and you're on Crick Hollow. Um, so basically, you just get one, grab one of these, uh, download it, or buy it. Again, you can learn the points as you go, but then it'll pop into your inventory and you're going to see this little box right here that appears. For I got a dwarf style one, and then it basically, you know, five seconds. It's bound to account when you purchase it. So that means if I did want to, I could send it to another character right now if I wanted to before opening it, because I believe once you open it, it will be bound to that particular character. But once you set it down, wherever it is, most people should be able to use it. We'll, we'll explore that right now. So right click it. Since it's a dwarf one, I get three options. I get one that is a uh, visiting stable master from Thorin's Hall. So it's pretty much cosmetic how the dwarf looks, right? This would be the same probably for the elf one and hobbit and human one. Um, there's one from Erebor, a dwarf that looks like from Erebor, and one that's a Zelruka, right? Um, for our group here, I'm thinking we're probably going to use the Erebor dwarf because it's a little different than the Thorin's Hall one. So we're going to go ahead and select that one. So then that will appear. It actually went into my large decoration carryall. So if you do have a decoration carryall and you're wondering where the heck did it go, you need to open up your carryall. So it actually went in there because technically it's a decoration. So I'm going to pull that out because we're going to use it right now. There it is. And now we're going to go ahead and place it here. So I'm going to go to our normal thing here. Oh, got a little bit of a thing here. One second. All right. So the um, now let's go ahead and test him and put him on. So we're going to click somewhere here. I'm probably going to put him right at the front here, so hopefully he can take up this spot here. The basin, which is bound to uh, Ale uh, Alexander, I may have to... I don't think I can take it off. I think I might have to send it to him. So I'm going to return to owner here. Oop, yeah, so it'll send it back to our friend there. It was very nice he put it there, though. All right, so now you get this cool little effect here. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to go ahead. Let's let's make it look a little cooler. Let's do a little sideways like this. Like, boop, save. All right. So now we let's check out what it looks like when you click on it, right? So if I right click on it, oh, it summons a person. All right. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So now we got a stable master. Right click on him. Wow. Look at that. Hey. Uh, so look at that. So you get all the different options. A lot of options. Wow. Swan Fleet, the Dwarf Holds, the Entomores, all pretty much all the main capitals. Rivendell, Belfalas. This is this is a wonderful item, you guys. I highly recommend this item if you are playing Lotro and you have a kinship house for your friends to use. And by the way, this should be usable by everybody in your kinship. So it's pretty darn awesome. Um, so you'll be able to use the dwarf stable master stand or elf, human, or hobbit, whichever one you like, cosmetically, the way it looks like this. Again, we're a dwarf uh, kinship house here, so we're going to use this particular one. But anyway, that's pretty darn awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. Look at, look at all these places you can go. That's pretty awesome. And then, of course, you know, you can just travel there. I'm curious, does it even have some of the event places? Swan Fleet, Trestle Bridge, doesn't look like it. But again, you can just, you know, take a swift travel to Bree and go straight to like winter. Oh, it does. It has the, like right now, the time of me making this guide video, there is a festival ground event. So it literally, you can even go to winter home. And it looks like the um, discount prices are still there for certain areas. Oh, wow. Everything just costs 80 copper too. That's pretty, oh, not, not entirely. A uh, scaling earth costs 97. Some of them don't. Um, but And there's the after the battle. That's pretty cool. Well, that is really, really awesome. And look at that. You can take a swift travel. It instantly teleports you. Boom. You're at a new location. That is pretty cool. Now, I would be interesting to find out 
if a free-to-play player can use the Swift Travels on that. That's the only thing I wonder. Um, I have a feeling they would be able to because it's a bought item, but I'm not 100% sure off that off the top of my head. So um, leave a comment if you know as a free-to-play player. Try it out. Someone in my kinship wants to try it. Yes, that kind of thing. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks to my subscribers. Thanks to Scumly. Subscribe button's there. Next episode's up there for guides. Loach your tail. Voiceovers, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you all in the next episodes of Voice of the Rings.